Good morning, my aging ladies. Susan Davis here, Prairie Girl Lifestyle. Hope you're having a great day. Okay, so this is going to be a get ready with me full face tutorial. Spring look. I got my nails done yesterday. It's spring! Okay, and I went shopping. I went to Beauty Brands and I bought some new eyeshadows for spring. Gorgeous colors. I've got some pinks here, orangey browns. We're going to do a pink orange sunset eye today. So if you want to see how I do that and give you some tips and tricks on this aging skin, then watch this video. Okay, for my primer today, I'm going to be using Laura Geller Supercharged. I love Laura Geller's products. This primer is fortified. It's supercharged. It has, um, I'm reading down here, soothing botanicals and age-fighting antioxidants. So anytime I can put something on my face that is going to be an anti-aging product, I'm all for it. So let's put this on. I apply it with my fingers. My aging dry skin needs all the moisture it can get. I've already done my anti-aging skin routine this morning with my Excuviance products which I love. And for foundation today I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. This is in the shade of 4. It matches my skin tone very nicely right now before uh, I've been out in the sun. This is my winter skin I will call it, my fair complexion. And to apply that, I'm using my Urban Decay Fluffy Brush. And I do like to go back and forth in a swirling pattern to apply my foundation and really work it into the skin. Okay, a couple things on this foundation. This Naked Skin, I'm really liking it. It has peptides in it. Another anti-aging skin ingredient this, that us aging ladies like. So I love that about this. It's a thinner consistency than some of the other, like Laura Geller and L'Oreal Glow, some of these other foundations I use. Um, so I had to kind of get used to the fact that it was thinner, but it's a very, very good coverage. I would say it's a medium coverage. I really like it. It's, it lasts all day. It blends into my skin nicely. I have used lots of different brushes to apply foundation even my fingers, but what I find works the best on this aging skin is a big fluffy brush like this. Because it shows no lines, it works into my skin and stays all day. Some of the other foundation brushes that you see um, that look like a paintbrush, they leave lines, they don't get into my pores nice like this brush will do. So that's why I always apply my foundation with a brush like this. Okay, a new product I bought just a week ago is this new Tarte Concealer. It is a paste consistency. And it does have a little shimmer, a little reflection to it. So, uh, my suggestion for aging skin is to use it here where the light is hitting my cheek. It gives a real nice sheen. It's like a highlighter. At least I use it like a highlighter right here. I would not put this under your eye where this skin is crepey and thin and wrinkly, puffy, whatever it might be that you have down here. This is not going to be good for that area. But I do like it for a highlighter. This uh, Laura Geller concealer is a, it's like a paste. So I'm just going to pat it on right there where the light would hit my face. And then take my beauty sponge and pat that in. I 
It doesn't take much. <clears throat> I have too much. I put too much on. It doesn't take it that much. But we'll just blend this in. If you have large pores here on your face in this area, keep this product away from those large pores. I do have some large pores here. And if I get this product on there, it's really going to uh, accentuate that, which I did get a little of that on there. But not to worry, because we have ways of covering our mistakes up. So stay tuned for that. But I do like the way that highlights my face. And then for eye primer today, I am using this new Tarte Clean Slate 360 Creaseless Primer. I'm really liking this primer a lot. I think this is, this is my favorite primer that I have used so far. It's like a moisturizing feel to it. It's thin, lightweight, goes on like a moisturizer. But the nice thing about it is when you start to apply your eyeshadow, it gets a little tacky and so the eyeshadow lasts all day long. This makes a huge difference. Especially if you watched my um, Peacock Eye tutorial where I use real bold colors. It, those colors lasted all day long where normally if I didn't have an eye primer on, my eyeshadow fades during the day. Okay, now that I have all my liquid products on my face. I like to set this with a setting powder. I'm using the Laura Geller Universal Setting Powder. This is a brand new product by Laura Geller. I love Laura Geller's products. I'm going to apply it with this big fluffy brush and pat it all over my face just to set that liquid down on my face. And this does not have a shimmer to it, which I like. I just want to set this. I already have a shimmer going on here. And as you know, on this aging skin, we can't do a lot of shimmer. It's not going to look good, at least not on my skin. Okay, next thing would be some bronzing. I'm going to do some contouring. And I'm using the Benefit Hula. I love this product. It's matte. Perfect for us aging ladies. So I'm just going to contour here on my cheeks. I'm using the thin side of this brush to apply that contour here in the hollow of my cheek. And then I can take it up my temple with the wider side of this brush. I'll apply it up here along my hairline, along my jawline to give the illusion that I have a jawline. It's all an illusion, the, our makeup, yes. We can really make things look better than they are. And isn't that what is fun about makeup? Putting all this color on your face and changing the look of your face. You feel beautiful when you put your makeup on. I just love makeup. I think it's so much fun. Okay, then for blush today I'm going with my MAC. Peony Petal, my brand new spring color. Beautiful pink. And I will apply that with my pink brush, fluffy, a little more tapered so I can control it. I like to put this blush right here, right above that contouring bronzer, and just feather it very lightly onto my skin. This is a gorgeous pink for spring. Then I'll go back to my big fluffy tart blush brush to blend this very lightly, touching my skin very lightly. Okay, we have the foundation done. We're ready to do something with our eyes. I'm going to put my eyebrows on first. 
and I do do that off camera because I need a 10 time magnification mirror to really apply my eye pomade on and get it just tack sharp. And I am using the Anastasia Beverly Hills eye pomade right now in a dark brown. I like the pomade. It's again moisturizing to my skin. It's not dry or cakey looking. And uh, you know, us aging ladies, at least my skin, I don't want to attract anything that's dry or cakey on my face. So, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. My eyebrows are done. I'm using this Anastasia pomade on my eyebrows. I really like this product. And yes, I do know that my one eye is different than the other. I don't know. It always has been that way. Just have to accept it. That's the way it's going to be. It's different. That's okay. Okay. Eyeshadows. I went to uh, Beauty Brands yesterday and went shopping. I don't normally go to Beauty Brands. Um, my favorite store is Ulta, just because they have more cosmetic lines there but beauty brands has a lot of the ones that I do like and they have their own brand like Ulta has their own brand I've never tried beauty brands uh, brand which is called Coco but I bought some of their eyeshadows and we're gonna try them today um, they come in a package like this and they are called Coco I picked up three different colors. Uh, I want to do like a pink and orange sunset type of look for spring. I thought that would be pretty. Uh, so I'm going to swatch these colors for you. The first one is called Chatty. And it is a kind of a dusty rose pink. So we're going to be using that. The second color is called Discreet, and it's more of a soft, warm brown. The third color is called Sweetheart, and it's an orange. So those are the colors we're going to be using today. To start with, I always like to uh, put a base color on my lids. I'm going with the MAC Vanilla for my base color today on my eyes. I like to apply that with a flat brush, a little stiffer brush to apply this. And I like to just pat it onto these lids. So if your lids are like mine, they're very uh, crepey and loose and they move around. So I find that applying this eyeshadow in a patting motion like this lays the product down gets it on all these areas of loose skin and this is when you can really tell the difference by using an eye primer especially this Laura Geller one I'm really liking it because when I put this first base coat down it is sticking and not in a bad way it doesn't cake or you know, glump up, get in your creases. It really lays down nice on that primer. Okay, for this look I'm going to start with my crease color, which is going to be the darkest color in this look. And this is the uh, Discreet color by Coco, which is Beauty Brands. I'm taking a smaller brush to apply this. I'm going to lay this right down in my crease. Okay, then I'm going to go with this orange color, Sweetheart, and another smaller brush. I'm going to put that sweet heart above that brown crease color. We're building a sunset. 
and I'm barely touching my skin when I put this color on because we don't want to move all that loose skin around any more than we have to. I'm going back with the crease color, that soft brown. I'm going to put a little bit more here in my crease on the corner and also here on my lid just a little bit there in the corner. Then I'll take a clean brush, my larger fluffy brush, and I'm going to blend all these colors and go over it very lightly. And then go back with my flat brush. I cleaned it off, the one that I used the cream on, and go into this pink. It's called Chatty. And pat that on my lid. Isn't that a gorgeous pink color? Then I'm going back into that orange. I'm going to put a little more. I'm going to put a little more of that orange here on the outer corner. Take my clean brush, blend that. And then I, I wanted to put a little light pink right up here. And so I went to my Tartlet palette. Because that has a light pink in it and it's a matte. This pink right here. And I just applied that up here at the top just to brighten that up some. Then I'm going to go with a small brush and go back into the pink. And lay that down here on my lower lash line. And then go back to that soft warm color that we used for our V and put a little of that down here, just right here in the corner. Tie that in. Okay, so then instead of putting my black eyeliner on like I usually do, I'm going to use eye makeup to put a dark line up here. And I'm going to go back to my Tartlet palette because it has a warm dark brown in it. I'm going to go with I'm going to go with Multitasker, this dark brown in my Tartlet palette. I'm going to take an angled brush like this and I'm going to wet it. So by wetting that brush, it really intensifies the colors and then I'm just going to draw a thin line here on my lash line, but I'm going to have to look in my mirror to do it. Okay, so I've got that on my upper lid and I put a little right down here in the corner and then we have some problems down here we need to fix because I got a lot of this pink down in here fallout I will say the Coco brand eyeshadows are um, they have a lot of fallout so you need to make sure you tap your brush before you apply them so I do have this naked skin concealer that I'm really liking And I'm going to tap that under my eyes. Just put some of that under my eye like so. <clears throat> Take a beauty sponge and lightly tap that in and clean up this fallout I've got going on underneath here. I really love cleaning up my eyes with a concealer like that underneath here. I get rid of all the product that's falling down and I make sure this is a sharp line here for my makeup. It makes my eye look a lot more lifted when I do that. Okay, ready for mascara. I'm going to curl my eyelashes. I'm in the market for a new eyelash curler. Anybody have any good suggestions? I just have this cheap one. Then maybe that's all I need is another cheap one. I've had this for a while, but if you have an eyelash curler that you really like,
please leave it in the comments below. I'd like to try something different. For mascara today, I'm going with Benefit, my favorite. And this time I'm using Roller Lash. I love Benefit's mascaras. Okay, eyes are done. Beautiful pinks and oranges. Nice spring look. Now we need to do something with our lips. Okay, I'm back. I got my hair down. I'm going to do lips now. I'm going to lip line my lips with this NYX eyeliner in the color Ever. And it's um, kind of a dusty rose. And then for lips today, since my eyes have all this pink on them, I'm going to go with a real light pink, this MAC. Uh, it's called Luster Sheer Madness. It's very light. Yes, that's good, because I don't want to, I've got so much pink going on here with my eyes, I don't want to put a real bright pink lip on, because I want the focus to be here, and here too, but very soft, very soft pinks. I'll get up close here so you can see. Pinks and oranges up here on our eyes. A real soft pink lip. Soft blush. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this spring look with the pinks and the oranges. Let me know in the comments below. And hey, subscribe to my channel. I would like that. I'll see you in the next video. You have a great day. Okay, bye.